For the Beaver Radio Network, I'm Brian Schultz. BSU soccer team snapped a losing skid with a one nothing win this past Sunday against Wayne State. The goal scorer, Sarah Stram with us. Congratulations on the goal. Thank you. You guys had lost, or rather played, in four straight one nothing games. You finally won one of those. What went right for you that hadn't in the one nothing losses? Well, we took a lot more shots than we have in the other games, and obviously you can't score unless you take shots, so <laughs> finally got one in. You know, it's been, it's time. <laughs> What's the best adjective you can come up with to describe those one nothing losses? Frustrating. Yeah, they're definitely frustrating, because we play well, and just to lose by one goal, I mean, it's hard, but we, we learn, so. You personally have scored a lot of goals here for this team. How much do you work on your shot? A good amount, you know. We always, in practice, at the end of practice, usually our coaches have us do like 1v1s with the defense or whatever to goal. So it helps. I mean, you gotta you have to keep working in order to keep scoring. Aside from a penalty kick goal, no two goals are ever going to be alike in soccer. Ball's going to come from someplace else. You're going to be a defender in some place. that. So every goal has to be a little different. As the ball's coming towards you, what do you look for? What are you paying attention for to determine if you can shoot, what the shot needs to be, and where you need to shoot it? Well, a lot of it is just space. I see how much space I have to the nearest defender, how much space I have into the goal, where the goalie is in the space of the goal, and a lot of that determines you know, where, my, um, where my teammates are to see if I can get a pass off if they have a better angle. Or, so, yeah. And you do all that in, what, a quarter of a second? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's got to be quick or else they'll be on you and – You'll, they'll have the ball going at your end. You know, you got to try and keep the ball, try to score some goals to keep the ball away from your defense. I know that goalies uh, keep tabs on, you know, on a penalty kick, certainly in, you know, national team caliber goalies where you're going to have a lot more penalty kicks and shootouts. They're making sure that they are not too predictable, that they're not always going to go the same direction. As a goal scorer, do you try to not be too predictable or not? Yeah, I mean... If you just keep shooting the same way on a PK, if you keep going to the right, like lower corner, they're going to know that. And that actually ended up happening last year as I had a PK earlier on and shot bottom right, and then I had another one. And I <laughs> turned back to the bench because Andy's screaming my name, and he goes, he like motions go the other way. And I went the other way, and the goalie dove to where it normally goes. So you have to change it up, you know, be unpredictable. Uh, you're at home this weekend. Uh, the final time you play at home until the last game of the regular season, almost – three weeks from now you guys got to get the job done on the road here are you ready for that challenge you know i think we're ready i think we're definitely ready um we've been you know we've been saving up our goals <laughs> we're gonna explode sometime soon so it'll be fun it'll be really fun and this group of girls that we have is so much like high energy and it's great to be around them so on the road the bus rides are gonna be fun <laughs> playoffs are always tightly contested games you've played in a lot of them already how does that get you ready for what's to come you know, as the as the games as we keep going through seasons, the games just get tougher and tougher because as the standings start getting laid out, people are playing harder to you know get the spot in the playoffs. So from here on out, the games are just going to get harder, and I think each game will help us just improve to the next one. Off the field, you're from the same hometown as uh, men's hockey player Charlie O'Connor. Did you know him before you both walked on campus? My dad and his dad knew each other, and. His dad coached my brother in baseball growing up. I didn't know Charlie myself. He went to a different high school than I did, but families knew each other, yeah. How much do athletes of one sport here at BSU pay attention to all the other athletes? A pretty good amount, actually. You know, we go to the men's and women's hockey games, the football games when we can. You know, we can't always, but but men's basketball games even, too. And I think it was my freshman year or maybe my sophomore year when we were away on a trip volleyball having me away with us too at the same school so we end up watching their game so we do actually keep pretty good tabs <laughs> best of luck the rest of the year thank you